Now this video is for all you Waves users, so if you want to go ahead and hook up your Waves VSTIs or VSTs through Magic Samplitude Studio 2016, let's start off with a new project. This is just like as if you were opening up Magic's Samplitude Studio once again all by itself and empty project now let's say that you uh, record a uh, a track here and you want to go ahead and utilize one of your VST plugins so what I do here is I'm just going to the I, I double click in this area here like for example uh, track 2 double click it opens it up so that you can see the plug-in insert here but we'll do this on track one and you bring the down arrow menu and you can see you've got your various effects which are all magics related and some of these might not show up unless you go ahead and actually uh, download the extra programs onto uh, through all extra plugins I should say that you uh, download off of uh, Magix itself and you can see that there's a wave shell here in the VST effects um, I don't have any waves um, VST eyes the only thing that I have is from our last episode easy drummer and uh, the VST effects here, you can see that I have the Butch Vig vocals. So let's say, for example, I want to use uh, Butch Vig vocals in uh, stereo, say, for example. And that's what I do. And you can see that we have Butch Vig vocals pop up. No problem. And uh, it's here to go ahead and modify your track whatever vocal track you have in there same thing and you can actually see that it, in this case it actually shows it as butch vig vocals in the uh in the drop down which is interesting and it doesn't do that with the vsti's or the v comp and mono here you can do it in stereo whatever you want so i switched it over so but you notice that it still says Butch Vig vocals in the stereo. So a little bit glitchy there for this early uh, version of Magic's Samplitude Studio. But uh, they'll fix it eventually, you know, just like everything. Uh, there's a few bugs, but everything will work out in the end. So, for example, Maserati. So now we have the Maserati in here. Cool stuff. Okay, so hopefully this helps you into uh, getting your plugins to work within Magix. It all works. Um, in case you have problems with locating this stuff, uh, hit the Y button on your keyboard. Always hit the Y button. That's always a go-to button. Remember that, the Y button. If, if you don't know why things are aren't working hit the Y button so the VST rewire here I've found my plugins the 64-bit ones are in program files VST plugins if you're using the 32-bit version then they'll be in the uh, X64 uh, version of your program files so and always make sure you click the scan system VST folders. Um, and if you recall from our last uh, episode, the VST plugin folder was the tune track one. And you recall that when I looked through here, it did recall that I did have the tune track folder, uh, the uh, Easy Drummer. Yeah, instrument still enabled in there even though we've changed this folder to look at the VST plugins it still remembers that stuff so don't worry about uh, only having one 
folder you can have multiple folders and it will track them all and uh, look for all your VST plugins no matter what folders they are in just as long as you point to them it'll it'll find them all right and uh, hopefully this helps you in locating your your plugins your VSTs and enabling them using this VST rewire using the Y button Hope you have an awesome day. More videos to come. Thanks.